Well, it's time to begin our journey into the cave that's dark and uninviting. Now, let's see. Who do I leave up front? Well, considering who's in here, Splinter. I mean, who else am I going to rely on, you know? Pokemon fight? Ready, go? No, no, this is a cave fight, damn it! You know... It's been a while since I've watched that anime, to be honest. I can't even remember the whole opening bit when they start those fights. It, it was hilarious, but way over the top. Ooh, a flinch, eh? Well, then. Time to try and finish you off with that quick attack. And it was enough. Okay. A slow poke. Damn, if only I had taught my me out Thunderbolt, you know? Well, that's fine. We can make it work. Oh no. Not confusion. Well, we managed to avoid getting confused at least. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm starting to feel tired. I should probably grab something with more caffeine in it. And darn it, Zubat, you're not a normal Pokemon. I know you're all over these caves. Because you're like the, the tentacruel of the cave. But, I mean, come on. Just get out of my way. I've got important things to do. Okay. Go this way. I believe. <sighs> yeah. I just want to stop yawning! Because it makes the video more boring! Oh, I was thinking of the wrong room. Uh, so I, going that uh, to the right was a bad idea. It's just going to extend how much time I have to spend in here. Oops. It happens, though, you know. Sometimes, you know, the, the mind just slips up a little bit. Almost like I should just start slapping myself awake. Not sure it'd help, but maybe. And I got hiccups too. Oof. It never ends. My water gun. Oh no! Not the move that's completely useless against you! Don't disable that! And this is why disables garbage. You don't know what's gonna disable in this game. <laughs> like I might randomly disable a, a move that's good, or I could disable a move that's complete and utter crap. It's a complete crapshoot. I don't know what's gonna do. Oh, you will, huh? Oh, I got a courage from somewhere. Oh no, not Oddish again. It's like one of my greatest enemies! But thankfully it's no match for the Hoppifying. Ooh, level 29. Bulbasaur! You ain't gonna be able to take me down with no Bulbasaur! It's just a wannabe dinosaur! It's, it's Barney, man! It's Barney! Only if he was all green instead of mostly purple. I don't know why you'd want a green Barney. But I suppose they did introduce a green dinosaur at one point, so, uh... I guess green Barney does exist. At least as a Barney friend. Ooh, an Onyx, huh? Well, if I was in the market for Rock-types Onyx, I'd probably use you. Or, I guess, try to use you. <laughs> onyx usually ain't very good. Not another Geodude. I don't want to fight that thing. Okay. Oh, my best shot, eh? I'm not sure you can handle my best shot. But I guess I'll give it to you. Oh, no. Oh, shut up. Ugh. 
If only I had a better flying Pokemon right now. But I'll take care of that part. And Onyx, uh, Rocket's gonna have to take care of it with the water gun. Use your water pistol, Radicate! And you know it's sad when Radicate knocks out the special attack, because its special attack is garbage. That's so why even though it can learn um, Flame Will, I would never bother. Oh, he's facing down this way, gotcha. I was wondering how I was able to cross, you know, without getting nailed there. Well, it's it's whatever. Okay, how to use a water gun. Man, I, I really need to consider the, the value of smacking myself in the face, apparently. No one rushed to stop me now. <laughs> Or it's gonna get picked up on the microphone too. Um, ow, maybe maybe pinching my uh, wrist will do better. Somehow, uh, I doubt it. It's not really helping. Ugh. Ugh, uh, let's flex on it. I suppose I could technically use dig, but honestly, water gun's just way more effective. And another Geo dude. Of course, the scary dude's gonna still be the guy with the self-destructive ones. Because if I lose Splinter, it's gonna be hard to get through, you know, the last couple trainers, I'm sure. And Geo dude is down. And we're level 30. That could be a problem. Now what? Get lost, Geo dude. I ain't got time for you. Move on, little pony. There actually is a Ponymon. Though I don't think it's ever been finished, so I don't know if I'll ever work on it. I also be able to cover as far as it goes, which I think is the opening to Mount Moon, so you can get like the first gym badge. Take care of a few trainers after that, and then it's just quits. Okay. Really, I wish we could. We still what we can. It's either backwards at this point or forwards in the trouble. Three, huh? Well, that's just a menace to society at that point. Let's just pop this balloon, right? Well, that's one down. A Pidgey, huh? Oh, I prepared for the best. Okay, that worked, I guess. I don't know why I gotta put I guess there, because it's not like, it, like it's a guess, really. We know it works, because it just happened. <sighs> and Junior Trainer is defeated. Just watch your back out, you know, there's lots of good Radicades out there. Uh, your power, huh? I don't know. Uh, uh man, just cannot wipe the sleep out of my eyes. Sleep by, don't make me have to slap the face. I a really rude way to wake up in the middle of a ball game. And another Geodude. But as we've established, Geodude is not scary for the Radicade. Because it can shoot the little droplets of water! No one stands a chance against those! And Graveler, right? Yeah, this one might actually take the hit. But we'll see. 
How far can it go, man? And that takes care of the worst fight in the area. Well, there's still more battles behind, I suppose. Till next time, then. See ya.